The Colorado Rockies hosting the New York Mets, and the Mets are minus 125 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 105. The over-under is 10 and a half runs. The Mets laying a run and a half are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. The Rockies getting a run and a half are minus 145, meaning if they win this game outright, you win. If they only lose by one, you win. Now, the Mets are on a one-game losing streak. The Rockies are on a one-game winning streak. They played a doubleheader last year, uh, yesterday. And they split. So the Mets won the first game. The Rockies won the second game. Head-to-head, -head, the Mets are 7-3 and three in their past 10 against the Rockies. The road team is 6-4 and four in their past 10 meetings. The under is 6-2-1 and one in their past 10 games. One of the games didn't have an over and under, and I imagine that's probably because they were playing in Colorado and the wind was insane. More specifically, the under 10.5 is 8-2 and two in their past 10 meetings, and the team getting a run and a half is 6-4. Now, Walker is one of these pitchers that I really do not like picking with. But I'm picking the team and not with him. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to take the Mets with the money line, the Rockies with the runs, and I'm going to go under. I wouldn't bet this, this game just because I really don't trust Walker. He's bounced around too much to too many different teams, and I have seen him struggle pretty much everywhere he went. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.